her advisor of the Latin American program and director of the Argentina project. He was the South American director at the National Security Council under the Obama administration. And thanks for joining me on what is another horrible day for Argentina. Everybody's got a feel for them. I'm telling you, this country is making austerity actually look good because this is looking like austerity plus, 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 plus. Is this politically viable? Because I think many people agree this is the financial medicine the country needs. That remains to be seen. And frankly, most political observers would say it's not viable, at least for the long-term viability of this particular government. It took office two years ago, and right from the beginning, it inherited this fiscal wreckage from more than a decade of populism. And most economists said it needed to fix the fiscal accounts and it needed to do so quickly. Its answer was, it's impossible, that the Argentine public won't permit it, and serious austerity would bring an end to the government. And when the Argentine public rejects an economic model, it does so often violently, it does so in the street, <laughs> and governments leave office early. Yeah, and again, it's the people of Argentina that suffer through that. Let's go through some of those measures, though. You're talking a tax on exports. I mean, this is really regressive. And abolishing half the ministries, which obviously people would say is a good thing. They want to get to a zero deficit by 2019. I mean, think about that. Uh, you know, I'm really interested to learn from you what you think is going through Maxi's mind right now because we've just talked about the fact that it's not likely to be it's not likely to be politically tenable what he's doing. So where is he going with all of this? I think he's decided rather courageously on the one hand and the other hand I think his hand has been forced by the International Monetary Fund and the international financial community that he has no other options. I think the the irony of the situation is is that he may be proved right from the beginning which means that his economic model will not survive this level of austerity, in which case the international financial community will be faced with a much more leftist populist government and will lose even further confidence in Argentina and this cycle will even worsen. So I think ultimately his political calculation may be proved correct and even as he adheres to the economic advice of the international community, that may be the end of this new economic reform moment in Argentina. Yeah, and, and he's saying to Argentinians, look, this just may be the way it is, and these are the stark choices you're facing. What's the best case scenario that we can get if you see this? Because I know that sometimes they're looking for some kind of tepid growth in 2019 if they can put all this behind them. I mean, frankly, if he can recapture the confidence of the international community, there is a very short-term upside. Argentina doesn't really need to borrow anymore right now. The International Monetary Fund, backed by the White House, has invested $50 billion in Argentina and its desperate straits now have led the International Monetary Fund to even expedite the disbursement of those loans. It frankly has most of the money it needs to finance itself for the next year or two. So what it needs is the run on the currency to end, it needs foreign investment to return at some modest pace, and it needs the recession that it's entering to be modest. And frankly, what investors also want to see is that this government or a likely successor government will adhere to a similar responsible fiscal model. It's possible, but again, the politics are almost impossible in Argentina right now. Yeah, you said it right there. A successor government would have to keep this going. Uh, quickly, before I let you go, do you think this could turn into a political crisis sooner than, we, that sooner than next year? Unfortunately, I think it could. Argentina's opposition is not historically known as being particularly responsible. I think the unions are nearly impossible to work with. Much of the leftist Peronist movement in Argentina wants to see this government gone immediately and will use violent protests to achieve that. I think there has emerged in recent years a more modest, centrist, parentist movement that I think is willing to stand with the government relatively mm -hmm. um, in this period. But again, I think the Argentine labor unions and the Argentine opposition want to see this government out and are not going to be good partners in austerity. Yeah, we'll see what their next move is. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. My pleasure.